thank you uh, the esteem uh, dignitaries uh, i'll straight away jump to the uh, ai use case i have let me share my screen first so i have 10 minutes i'll be quick uh, so i request everyone to be be along with me uh, is my screen visible umesh ji yes all right so i the, the use case i have for ai is for physical verification of assets uh yeah sorry yeah so uh, uh so this is a use case where uh, a, a you know a client is being audited or physically verified for multiple locations and uh, the physical verification is conducted on the same day suppose there is a there is this this particular situation where uh, the the audit is conducted at the same time and same date and uh, various uh, associates of the chartered accountant visit to the multiple location of the client and data is obtained uh, collated and consolidated report is generated uh, after the physical verification is done now if the oddity at the branch is not available is absent then uh, immediately one action is required now in this situation uh, uh, what is the traditional way to do it the auditors will go and uh, you know do the audit uh, audit or say physical verification and get the excel data in excel share it over mail and then thereafter uh, the ho will uh, collate all the data manually after the physical verification all the communication will be done over the phone however in our case uh, we have used uh, the power of uh, microsoft 365 to ease out uh, the things to create efficiency first of all and to uh, generate the communication also uh, through uh, power of uh, microsoft 365 so there are three apps which we'll be using ms forms power automate and copilot i'll directly jump onto the uh, the screen of uh, microsoft 365 here it is so this is the uh, the uh, home screen of microsoft 365 it has number of apps over here so we'll be using power automate and forms microsoft form it is not av available here but it can be searched from here here it is right so once you will click on the form uh, it will be this screen will be will be visible uh, you can create a form through uh, uh, standardized templates uh, which is available here however we will be creating a new form uh, these forms are basically used for surveys and uh, feedbacks however this is you know the the case study which we have this is an innovative way to uh, solve our problem so once you will create a new form this screen visit will be visible i have created few question on the form uh, uh, dummy questions it's a dummy limited physical verification then this is the the form name and this is the summary of uh, what is the form all about then we can create questions out of it the answer could be in, in multiple choices uh, text or it may be the answer may be in ratings the answer may be in date ranking net promotion score and section section is something which we have also, also used in our case so i'll uh, move on so date of audit date of name of auditor and so on and so forth we can create a form so I'll, uh, I have already created the form uh, by now uh, to save time. So we can just uh, jump in onto that. So this is the dummy company private limited. This is the narration. I've created a section of primary details. The details are as such uh, date of audit. Uh, the answer will be in only date, name of the auditor. I mean, the person who is going there, he will put his name, the location ID of the branch, it must be number because it is an ID, which is, you know, uh, 104, 110, whatever number he will put. So restriction is on the number. Now, uh, this is the fourth question, whether audit is available on work site. The answer will be either in yes or no. Now, this is an important question. I will discuss it uh, uh, later part of the, of the discussion. Section two would be uh, admin department asset. Now, we have categorized that in uh, different departments. Number of chairs, the answer will be numbers. Number of cabinets, the answer will be numbers. The second department would be the section three IT department, number of laptops, number of desktops, and so on. Remarks also they can put. Now, once the form is created, it will look like this. So this is uh, the uh, desktop version. 
which will be available to the to the auditor at the site location and the mobile the mobile view would be like this right so uh just a moment yeah so uh this will be the once he will be completing the responses the responses will be submitted to the ho and it will be a dashboard will be created immediately it will be a real time the moment he will be su submitting the responses the dashboard will be created like this and an excel also will be created here immediately real time so this this will look, look like this so data collection thing is already done uh yeah just a moment the data collection thing is done now we'll go to the uh, the second point where we want to uh, create a response also if the person is not available which was question number 4 if the oddity is not there then uh, somebody the, the person who is going there should respond uh, no and uh, notification should be immediately be available to the auditor uh, auditor at ho so that the uh, uh, appropriate action can be taken so for that we are using power automate this is a very powerful tool of MS uh, uh, 365, uh, which is condition based uh, and it also integrates with Microsoft Forms. So this is the beauty of Microsoft uh, 365 that it, it integrates all its all its uh, applications. So what we have done is when the response is submitted. So this is we, we have created this this condition. There is a condition. There are three, four condition, uh, three, four steps into it. The con first condition is to select the form. The second condition is uh, se second st stage is to uh, you know identify the question. The the fourth question is identified over here that this is the the question, and the condition is over here that if the answer is equal to no, then if the answer is true, then send me a mobile notification, and then the notification will would look like oddity not available branch ID. Now, again, this is a ID, which is a dynamic field. So the notification will be along with the ID itself so that I may be, I, we will be identifying which branch uh, or, and on which branch the audit is not available. In case uh, the answer to it is yes, he is available. Then there is no notification being required because that, that should not bother me. And the auditor should continue with the uh, audit and uh, submit the response so this is this is the case study so it's it solves two problems one is uh, coalition of data real time and the second is identification of, uh, of any person who is not available in location which is not available at that for the purpose of audit now coming back to the uh, slide attention so Last this is these are more minutes. few cases where we can use it account balance confirmation through form so vendor communication or uh, uh, customer account balance communication that can also be the gst mismatch communication can be done expense reimbursement so all these can be done with the combination of microsoft form uh, uh, and automate uh, power automate so this is from my side thank you very much i hope i justify with the time